Hey there, happy hump day. Welcome to another day of Daily Blancos, where I provide to you news, information, new updates, anything going on in the world of Blancos. We're exploring this world together, and I want to be a source for you to not only enter the game, answer any questions that you have, but also follow along with my progress in the game. Play to earn is the way that the world's going, and I'm going to tell you right now, hop on this train because... Uh, no, not the train, the rocket ship to the moon, maybe. Let's go. All right, so let's get started here. We got a lot to cover today. A lot to cover, not a lot of time, so we're just going to hammer it out here. First of all, I always like to do the daily challenges right off the bat. So number one, let's take a look here. Clear 10 checkpoints, fall 500 meters in block parties, and don't finish last in a block party. So... Let's, uh, let's start, um, and basically what I'll explain to you kind of what a daily challenge is. Um, you have these things called hike points, and uh, let's head over to the party pass, because that's going to show you exactly what I'm talking about here. <clears throat> so you have this timeline here, as you can see on the right, and uh, in the middle it says 236, 246, 256. Well, by completing these daily challenges, weekly challenges, seasonal passes, you get the hype points. So right now I have 228 hype points and um, out of a total of 682 that are currently available in the game. Um, so my next reward, you can see on the left, is in eight hype points and I'm gonna get the mummy, uh, or sorry, the Egyptian cotton belt. And I get six 2000 XP chips, which is huge for leveling up your Blancos, which is really what this is all about. So let's hop into uh, the daily challenges. I'm going to hit R1. I use a PlayStation 4 controller. You can use an Xbox controller. A lot of people use the keyboard if you're a PC person. Um, so look at the daily rewards here on the left. And then you have the weekly rewards here right up the middle. These all just refresh today at noon. Uh, well, noon my time, but stay tuned to Blancos. Uh, on Twitter, they tell you when the refreshes happen. And it has a timer right there, obviously, as well. Um, so we're going to hit the daily challenges to start out with. So let's go back to the junction here. 10 checkpoints, 500 meters in block parties, and don't finish last in a block party. So these are all basically, well, clear 10 checkpoints and don't finish last in a block party. Those are uh, racing-based initiatives here. And fall 500 meters in a block party. That could be a race-based thing, so we're gonna do, we're gonna hit a race here. And uh, how you get to the races, uh, or I'm sorry, how you get to the black parties, you need, uh, so I'll show you, you can either run to the middle of the junction. Now the junction is basically the uh, meeting spot for the game. It's gonna change. So uh, stay tuned for later on in the video, I'm gonna explain why, but still, this is kind of like a central location um, where you kind of get dropped off when the game starts and uh, you see all these other people running around here. But see these two portals? So that one and that one. You can just hop in there and it'll arbitrarily bring you to a game. I'm going to select what, I, uh, what I'm going to play here though. So let's go to the party pass. I'm sorry. I always do that. The party bus. <clears throat> We're going to do a race. Okay, so I've played Racers of the Lost Ark. I like doing the featured races because a lot of the incentives are based upon you doing the featured races. Um, so Racers, uh, and that's the category that you can see at the top there. Featured, recently played, favorites, all parties. So featured, Racers of the Lost Ark. Uh, we're going to hit that one. Now I wonder, uh, well, I'm not even going to say it out loud because it may sound really stupid to say it out loud. And I'm on the internet. I'm not trying to look stupid or you know, more stupid than I already look. But here we go, we're gonna hop in here. Um, <clears throat> so the goal is to not finish last um, and clear 10 checkpoints. Not sure how many checkpoints are in this game. A checkpoint is basically what keeps you on track in a race. So you have to run through the checkpoints so there's no cheating, there's no shortcuts, anything like that. And uh, it depends on, you know, what race you're gonna be playing. I'm, honestly, all these games, um, are, are, are player developed, which is really cool. Meaning that the game's built by the users. So not only is it built by the users, but it's owned by the users as well. And that's the concept of an NFT, a non-fungible token. So uh, all these characters, the blankos, the accessories, all of it's owned by you as you're playing the game, which is a really cool, unique concept that I think is really gonna change the world of 
uh, video gaming, and I mean it already has, but it's just at the pinnacle. I mean it is. I'm sorry, it's just at the precipice, not the pinnacle. It's only downhill from here. No, it um, it's it's right at the uh, the beginning of going mainstream. So it's really cool to see, and I'm telling you, listen to this random person on the internet. Get into this game. It's really. Um, take it off. There's a lot of excitement in the world of cryptocurrencies. I'll be honest with you, I'm not like this guy who's like heavily invested in the world of cryptocurrencies, but one of my best friends, that's his career, and he's been telling me to get into the stuff forever. I'm coming at it from like the gamer side of things here. And um, it's just a very easy game to understand. Uh, it's really easy to sign up, download this game, get an account, and just let it rip. And it doesn't cost you a penny. And I'm going to talk about this in a little bit. But they just released a new NFT today called Astrid. But we'll get into that in a second. A little teaser for you. All right. So uh, you don't even have to listen to me rattle on here for the next little bit. You can just go to the comments below and skip ahead. I have the timestamps at the bottom where you can just skip ahead if you're looking to you know to see about Astrid and understand the concept of the uh, the drops today based off the hype points. All right. So we're gonna throw get thrown into a lobby here. I think the servers are going pretty slow today because there are a lot of people playing because of that Astrid drop. But this is the only time I can hop on today, so what are you gonna do? All right. So it throws you in the lobby whenever you're playing a, a block party, and you can see we got a bunch of people in here. So don't care what place I in, I'm in, unless uh, I'm sorry. Don't care what place I finish in as long as I just beat one of these jamokes. So, fingers crossed. We got new people coming in. I'm just gonna run over and throw hands. Oh, I can't even punch. Ooh, look at this guy, I like that. The collar there. Break him out. He can stand on his head now. Alright, here we go. Don't come in last. Hopefully just 10 checkpoints. That'd be cool. See this flashing like ring here? That's a checkpoint. You want to hit those green, um, you know, neon things. They'll make it go fast. Hike points. Those are the lightning bolts. Those accelerate you when you hit L3. Uh, but they're finite. Um, they run out. So that's why I don't collect them. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, shoot. Ah! Got through. It was big. Oh, this guy. Enough with this. So this is checkpoint six, I believe. Which is nice. Seven. Eight. Oh, we might we might get to the ten the ten spot. Fuck to that guy. There we go! Ten checkpoints. So there's objective number one. You love to see it. Now, the next one, don't finish last. Oh no! Wow, what a recovery! Oh, what a recovery. Is it last place to be in this guy? Oh no! Go, buddy, go! Slide for your life! Slide for your life! Don't be last place! I finish. Did I finish in non-last? We'll see. What if I jump here? Think we can? <laughs> this will count towards the uh, the falling goal. Oh no, I'm not gonna get there. Let's see. Hey, we did it. So good job. He didn't finish in last. So we just killed two birds with one stone on that round, which is great. So we're gonna go one more, and this one was just fall. Um, so we're gonna do Racers of the Lost Ark again, and now I don't care what place I finish in, because I'm just gonna keep jumping off the cliff here to uh, get me to that third daily challenge. So if you can tell, um, the daily challenges are typically not that difficult, and I really like that idea of giving you the incentive to play the game on a daily basis and continue to shoot for leveling up your character, you get rewarded by playing these games. And I'm gonna explain all of this in a second here. 
Um, but <clears throat> like I said, if you're a gamer, there's so many different elements, it seems, to this game um, that come together in Blancos. Um, I'm sorry, so many different elements from kind of like other games that kind of form this game. It's got like elements of Fortnite, Fall Guys, Mario Party. Um, you know, the characters look like Funkos. You know, there's just so many different angles that this game has that incorporates from like the different worlds and this game is made by mythical gaming or mythical studios where they made uh, i believe this is their first big project that they've done so it's a big deal for them but they've worked on titles such as call of duty uh guitar hero um i believe world of warcraft so unless you live under a rock or a cave um, you've heard of those games they're pretty massive I'm going to start the party here. I'm holding triangle. Uh, I'm not going to wait for other people to join because I simply don't care. Yeah, and um, <clears throat> we, so we're just starting the game because I don't, like I said, there's no incentive for me to finish. I don't care. I'm just looking to fall off the side of the map here. 500 meters. So hopefully uh, we can do that all in one foul swoop here. We'll get to that third daily challenge and then we'll hit the news of the day, which we got two pretty big items to cover. Pretty exciting stuff here. This game's always changing. Things are always uh, moving and shaking in this world, and it's pretty exciting to be a part of it, you know, to, to kind of have discovered this game pretty early on. I mean, it's been out for a little under a year. I think actually just about a year. Um, but it's just not even close to, like, mainstream where I think it's going to go. If you, you know, search, use any search engine to look up, you know, top play to earn games, this is always right up there. Who doesn't want to earn game, earn money by playing video games? Right? All right, we're gonna launch ourselves off here, and we're gonna do this. Five minutes should be plenty of time to to do this here. Oh, uh, there we go. Someone actually joined it. Final Jack. He's gonna be all jacked up that I'm uh, not even cheating at launching myself off the side of the map. <laughs> There's no progress bar, so I don't know. I don't have like a feel for what 500 meters feels like, so we'll see. Hopefully, we can get this done in the next couple minutes here. Really throwing stuff. There uh, you go. Look up, little buddy. Time to launch yourself again. Whee! Does this kind of remind you of Fall Guys a little bit? Alright, come on now. You gotta be close to the 500. We're just gonna keep doing it. We're just gonna keep doing it. Oh, that was a big jump. You know, like I said before, you know, not only are these like challenges, sometimes they're easy, sometimes they're silly like this, you know. It's falling off the uh, edge of the board is typically not advised. It doesn't help you win. Uh, but in this case, it's uh, the goal. He was running in midair. Oh, Gotta be close. I mean, I, I think we would have done it by now. Hello! All right, what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna finish the race, and we'll check back on our status of progress. Let's see if um, this registered, because I don't know why it wouldn't. Ooh, you like that? Duck and Barry Sanders. A weird reference. Final Jack is probably sitting at the finish line. I'm like, look at this idiot. I beat him by an hour and a half. Ah, I get through there. Woo! -hoo! Oh, yeah, we squeeze. We squeeze. Music's really intense, too. I looked up and missed the green. Not that good. Let's 
finish this race and see where we are at. His little legs. Go, go, buddy. I fell there last time. After all that nonsense at the beginning, I'm still gonna finish the race. How about that, huh? Let's go over the track. Oh, oh, oh. Jack's probably like, you idiot. Where have you been? So we finished. So that's interesting that I don't get why. So this is where like we learn on the fly too. Why didn't that register? I don't know. Let's figure it out. Ah, uh, stretch. <sighs> I got a massage yesterday. It's kind of stiff, you know? So let's see what's going on here. Maybe I can just do it from the junction. I mean, I've done it in the past. If you watch my videos, I did it before a couple days ago from the junction. It, did, it said black cards, though, so that's why I'm confused. We'll check it out. You never know. You never know, do you? Yeah, the servers are pretty slow today, so it's usually, not, it's usually a lot quicker than this. Whenever there's, uh, whenever there's a big event, though, a lot of people taking up bandwidth. So I think that's what's happening today. Let's see. I'll tell you, that clown is really just creepy. For as much as I've seen him. So fall 500 meters in block right. What if I just, so it registered 235? Let's see if this registers. Okay, so we don't even have to do block parties. We can just jump off the thing here. Sorry to waste your time, guys. Alright, let's uh, just watch it. Let's actually go as high as we can before we fall. I'm using my little wings here. Whee! To the sky! Look at the whale up there. Whatever, the, whatever that thing is. Just go swimming. Ah, he got it. Should get us to 500. Ah! All right, so there we go. <clears throat> so there you go. We got all three of the daily challenges completed. So that gives us the ultimate prize of um, all three of the daily challenges. Plus we get a reward for doing all three of those. Now I will say, if you look at the weekly, it says run 5,000 meters of block parties. Um, I'm gonna do a couple more races to hit that because that weekly prize just started today and um, I want to get that I really want to like start to level up my guy pretty pretty aggressively here so let's do another race um, Lost Souls I think is a cool one let's check that out <clears throat> I think I've done this before too yeah a lot of these um, it, and this is just my perception I don't know if it's right or not but it looks like they recycle a lot of the featured ones too because these were the featured ones when i first started that lost arc that was the first game i ever played so that was um pretty cool that to play that board again black party that board but you know what i mean um it's cool pretty cool to play that black party again you know now a month and a half two months into this game it's cool to see the progress and have a much bigger and deeper understanding of you know what this game is all about so we're hitting it, baby. We're going hard. Let's go. We might have to do two races, um, which, you know, I got nothing but time. Actually, that's a lie. I have two shows I'm doing today, so I'm actually the exact opposite of that. I have very limited time today. <laughs> but I just ate a bunch of Cheerios, so I'm all jacked up. Right, I don't care if there's people in here, I'm holding triangle, and it's not my concern. Here we go. Yeah, this is a good one, I think. If my memory serves me correct. People are so creative too, man. It's like, so, 
If you're just uh, kind of getting to know me, if this is your first time in the stream, I'm a sprint triathlete. Uh, I compete on the amateur level for Team USA. I am a big gamer. I stream Super Mario Maker 2, and uh, Super Mario Maker 2 is very similar conceptually to like how this kind of works, where you're building levels, you know, and you get to play them. So, uh, actually, <clears throat> this board's kind of tough to see what's going on. Uh, I just immediately fell in the lava. So I'm dead. This guy apparently doesn't want to go. Is he stuck? We got a real barn burner here, folks. Two people who have no idea what they're doing. Yeah, this one's really dark. It's hard to see. Okay, a little wire here. Uh, over here. A lot of lava. You see what happens when you hit the lava? Uh, don't. Oh, and as I say that... Oh, oh, I survived. Look at that. Oh, you don't. All right, this is not a good one for uh, running a lot. We'll get there though. Let's finish this bad boy out. There we go. Ah. There we go. Looking good. How do we get over there? Okay. Here. Well, maybe it's a lot of running. Maybe we get there. Jumps, you know, is it just like making your blank go move? That's a question. Oh boy. Wow. This one's tricky. Tricky icky. I have. I cannot see anything. Please shoot me to light. Shoot me to light. I'm just flying. Blindly following the arrows here. Okay, this one is pretty hard to see this one. <clears throat> but I like the running! Over here. Oh boy. A lot of lava. You hate to see it. I think we're gonna finish. That'd be wild after the horrific start. This is the end. Oh yeah. All right. So we didn't uh, we didn't hit our goal. That's okay. We gotta wait for the other two to finish here. And listen, I'm just gonna go side note here. If anyone ever wanted to buy me a nice chair? My chair stinks and hurts my back a lot. Oh. I don't rip the cat off. You know you're very concerned about that. Let's see where Rich Boy is. He's a Rich Boy. Whoa, where, how do you get in there? Uh, tell me that's him flying around. See that? Alright, we got 30 seconds. Hello. finish. Party finish. All right, Rich Boy didn't even compete. Good for him. All right, let's go back to the menu. Um, let's do one more. Let's do one more race. Definitely not that one because I couldn't see anything. Lost Souls. I think this is the cool one. Whoa! So Deadwood just leveled up. The top left, he just went to a fair level 10. Based off the XP's I just got. Huge! I'm really trying to level my Deadward up. Uh, I'm trying to get him to a level 15 fair. 
That way, I have uh, I have a trickle level 15 fair. I'll have him as a level 15 fair. I'm really grinding to get these guys. So I have three Blankos that I'm playing with, and you start the game with two. So you start with, uh, well, I think Noob is who I got. I forget exactly how it works. So I got Noob and Trickle for free, though. That's Those are the NFT fun uh, Funkos, geez. the Blankos that you get for playing the game. Um, and then Dead Word I'm playing with because I had two of them. And one I keep boxed, one I keep unboxed. We'll go over that in a, in a second, but I'm doing a little bit of a, a test. I'm going to see which way the market dictates. You know, are boxed ones, as time goes on, going to become more valuable? Or, you know, if they've only made, let's say, 2,000 of this specific Blanco, is one worth a lot of money that, uh, you know, is upgraded? Did I already play this one? Darn it. All right. Uh, I thought I did the other one. Man, this is embarrassing. Well, looks like we're doing this stupid board again. No offense to whoever made this, because it takes a lot of time and effort to put it in. But at the same time, make it lighter, will it? Here we go. I love climbing on the top ropes. Yeah. I'm gonna this thing. Yeah. One. Oh, he's just, yeah. Oh, he took a page out of my book. Ooh, he was just trying to catch these hands. Oh, here we got another guy incoming hot. All right, let's get the game going. Then. Kirkland. I think that's what it said, but I can't read. So. Stop on you, Sun X. All right, here we go. Let's see if we all get confused by the uh, darkness of this board. At least I got a leg up, because I kind of know where to go. Oh, look, he's on the move. Wow, I got a lot going on here. Oh, he punched me and knocked me out. It's messed up. Messed up. First one, I won't forget that. First one, Ryan. Ah, that guy's cool. Almost jumped just directly in the wall. Yeah, I didn't know where to go last time at that spot, but maybe that helped save some time. I got scared. There we go. Alright. I mean, this isn't a terrible race, aside from you get knocked out by that bunch of them. Ah! These guys are waiting for me, see that? I'm writing a book on how to get... Ah. Okay, here we go. Go on, go a little bit. Come on, buddy. You do little ladies. Oh, lava. Ah, ah shoot. I'm just grabbing it. Come on, buddy. Go, 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 go. Might have came in first place there. Kind of nervous that it didn't say finish. That scares me. We got uh, uh, one's having a rough go at it. He's getting knocked out. Just lock yourself up. Okay? 
Look at all those orbs, that was kind of cool. Kirkland's knocked out again. Go for the goalie, yeah, I could knock out, that's right. By my own uh, devices. Oh, they're all fighting each other back here. I'm in. Look at this, he's having a back alley brawl. I love it. I love it. Yeah, I came back from victory to come back and smash you. It's a big first place win. Smoked him too, by the way. Absolutely smoked him. Beautiful. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, 300 XP! That's what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna head back, I'm gonna go to the party pass, I'm gonna tell you why. So you go to the party pass, we're gonna collect our winnings, first of all. So I'm gonna go to challenges, I hit R1. So I got 150 XP chip, 150 moolah for clearing tech 10 checkpoints, we did that. Same prize for don't finish last in a block party, did that. Same prize, 500 meters, those are the three daily challenges. So now, we get the XP chip for doing all three of those daily challenges. And now I'm gonna go look at the weekly and uh, see why didn't that register? Huh. That's interesting. Okay, well, screw that for right now because uh, like I told you, I'm very busy today. So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna head over to the shelf and I'm gonna upgrade my Blancos with the XP that we got, all right? Uh, we're gonna upgrade Deadward because we're all, we're buying high on Deadward right now. Love him, he's the king of the world, he's killing it, so. <sighs> Keep you on it. Ooh. Need some coffee. Let's do this. Alright, so we're back at the shelf here. Uh, so these are all the blank goals that I own, like I've mentioned before. Uh, time and time again, I don't want this show to be repetitive, so... We're just gonna, if you're interested, go back. Every video I make, I put the chapters down so you can understand what I'm talking about here. So I'm gonna upgrade, I'm gonna use all my XP's to upgrade here. So 4,355 XP required to level and do a level 11. Wow, that was like a tongue twister. Um, I have 5,450, so here we go. Let it rip, jack him up, up to 11, let's go. Beautiful. I get moolah for doing that too, so I have 16,345 moolah. That's a form of currency in the game. As well as Blanco Bucks, which is that uh, B with the two stars on it at the top right. Those are a little bit more, have a little bit more buying power. So now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna show you what's going on in the world of Blancos today, because we have two big announcements. So let's do this, we're gonna shift gears. We're gonna shift gears, we're gonna go over here. And we're gonna pull up. Do, 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 do. Hold up. Wait a minute. Let me put some blancos in it. Give me one second here, folks. I know you're all on pins and needles. Whoa! Hello. And we want that. No, we don't want that. We want that. Oh, come on. Why isn't this working? I'm going to do this and then go this again. There we go. All right, we got it. Now let's put on some music because we just want chill vibes. Because I'm an island boy. Oh, did I just say that? All right. All right, we're good here. So let's check this out. Folks, so first of all, let's do this. We're gonna go to the Blanco's desk. This is something that's a brand new concept. Uh, this was just released on their blog yesterday. 
um, and it's releasing tomorrow on November 18th. Um, so blog.blankos.com. Um, this is going to be something you're going to want to subscribe to if you are interested in the game and keeping up with all the latest uh, events and news information that's going to be coming out here. So blog.blankos.com. Check it out. So that's where we are. So introducing the desk. Yesterday, November 16th, it's a three-minute read. Let's do it. So we've got a very exciting update to Blanco's block party coming on November 18th. This update plans to greatly improve the influx of participants in block parties for, by providing a fast and easy way to jump in. I told you, this game's blowing up. A lot of people flocking to it. <clears throat> so our menus couldn't be leaner, and they couldn't be meaner. Low times, beware. Welcome to the desk. So with our new desk scene, we've overhauled our menus to place the most important features of Blanco's right in front of you. Now you, the player, uh, can access everything in one place. The shelf, shop, party pass, social features are all available in one quick glance. Most importantly, the play button gets you right into the action. Challenges available front and center and quick access block parties. We hope to see more players having a smoother experience. Uh, so if you want to mash up a new creation without approaching the Fender Blender, um, and if you're not familiar, you can mix two different Blanco, Blancos to make your own unique. And what you've had to do is go to the junction, physically run your character up to that building. Well, um, wanted, that's what they're talking about here. Want to join a match without jumping into the junction? Now you can. Uh, so no matter where you are, you've accessed the most important, important aspects of your Blanco's experience with the push of a button. Uh, the party pass, shelf shop, social settings, and even the blender can be all the access from the new menu that accompanies you everywhere you go. From the desk, you'll be able to easily jump into the block parties with our play button and available at a quick glance. We expect the flow of Blanco's to feel much better. So here's a screenshot of what it's going to look like. So if you look at the top here, this is exactly what they're talking about. This stuff right here. So it looks like you're playing with an Xbox controller or maybe some kind of like gen, you know, generic computer controller. But this is what it's going to look like. So this update's coming in hot tomorrow. A lot easier to navigate the Blanco's universe now. Uh, here with the party pass. All you have to do now is to look at the top of your screen to access party pass. With the party pass being so easily accessible, we'd love to see how quickly you can get those NFTs. Who doesn't want NFTs? That's why we're playing the game, right? So here you go. It's going to look just like this up here as well. Um, and then the shelf, that's where your blankos are stored. Uh, did we mention that the shelf load times are no more? Well, it's true. You can access the shelf straight from the desk load free, which is nice because like I was mentioning earlier, it seems like there's a lot of people playing today and the load times seem to be up a little bit. So that's a really cool uh, feature that they're adding here. And to top it all off, you can now easily access the blender from your shelf as well. Awesome. That's what I was talking about when you mix those blankos together. So that's a pretty cool feature. Forget the days of old where you had to wait to get your shelf. That was quick and easy from the desk. The shop. Uh, the shop is looking so well integrated with the new menus. No more days of long loads to get into the store for drops. Get in quick with a click of a tab. I know that's been a complaint in the community or uh, maybe like a sticking point um, for me. You know, we're pretty easy going, so not a huge issue for me, but hey, that's awesome that they're doing. And then social, but mythical games, we want to jump into the, uh, okay, let's start over again, because I can't read. Uh, but mythical games, we want to jump into the junction and start stacking. Where did the social aspect go? Well, let me tell you, not a problem. The junction is still easily accessible through the social tab. You'll still be able to jump into the junction and hang out with your friends, stack and stack and stack away. So what that means is basically when you start the game right now, as it exists, you default to just appearing in the junction. When you download the game on your PC and iOS, coming soon, uh, I think in November 30th. <clears throat> um, but when you turn on the game and you hit play, it drops you in the junction. Not that anymore, it appears. So you can still enter the junction um, by clicking that tab over there, uh, right here. So, pretty cool. Through the social tab, you'll also be able to access the party bus easily. That's like I mentioned, that's where you pick up the, uh, the game, the black parties that you want to play. Uh, he, <clears throat> here you can play private games with your friends and even take a look into other maps to play. Pretty cool. Build mode, this is something I, uh, to be perfectly honest with you, have no interest in, but 
If you're watching and do have interest in it, let's cover it. Uh, as we prepare build mode, build mode for new features, textures, and props, as well as adding rewards for our builders, build mode will not be front and center and available from the desk. Build mode will be accessible through the foreman via the junction. So you got to run up to this little guy and uh, kind of look how the blender was or exists right now. It's obviously changing tomorrow, but um, I, from my understanding, that's what it's going to look like. You run up to that guy, so let's do it, let's start building. So that's going to be how that works. The future. We're seeing some great changes headed our way and are excited to share more with you in the future. Keep an eye out for future updates. They'll be gems. Thank you for your continued support of Blanco's Black Party. So there you have it. I don't know if that was three minutes or not. I tried to make it interesting, kind of read like a radio announcer a little bit. Uh, but that was uh, that's the new update. So that's a pretty big change uh, to the game. It's really just a fundamental shift in the way that this game played. So pretty cool to see that. I welcome it. I think it's a great addition. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's it on that. The desk. Introducing the desk. See you tomorrow there. The last thing we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how an NFT drop happens in Blankos. Um, today, a character named Asterid dropped. All right. So we're going to head, um, instead of going back and forth and back and forth, I'm going to show you. Actually, no, I am going to go back and forth because I think it's a, kind of a buildup. Kind of a build up to uh, you know what kind of the uh, the payoff the money pitch is here. So let's go back to the game. Excuse me. And I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about here. So let's open up this game. Let's go back to we go back to the uh, the party pass. Now, like I mentioned, you play the games because by playing the games you get the benefit of um, getting the hype points. That's what um, that little badge with the five next to it is in the bottom left or the top right. The badge with the stars is 231. So I have 231 hype points out of the available 682, you know, mats. Now, let's look at this timeline. So this is how you get a lot of the NFTs um, through playing the game, is getting, so right there. So that's why I had two dead ones because I bought one on the marketplace, but I also had received one for getting three hype points. So that was the first gift that I got from, uh, from gathering three hype points. And as you go along here, you can see you get some pretty cool stuff. Like that's an emote I got, temper tantrum. Um, and Blanco Bucks are obviously, you know, that's not obvious, but that's kind of the most important currency in the game that bears a lot of weight. And so as you go on this timeline here, you're gonna go all the way down. <laughs> Oh, we missed it. Right here. So this is Astrid Havoc. Um, Astrid dropped today at noon. Now, how this game works is um, it's called minting an NFT. So just like you mint a coin, right? And it's a number, uh, you know, like mint number one is the first one printed, mint number two is second, so on and so forth. This minted at noon today. So if you had 578 hype points, unfortunately, which I don't, um, you'd log on at noon under the game, mint it, and then you'd get a really high mint because not a lot of people have that many hype points and you have to be available to play the game at noon on a weekday. So pretty cool concept, right? So let's look at the bigger picture, kind of the understanding of like what play to earn is. You download this game for absolute free. You play this game for absolute free. You do the daily challenges, which you just watched me do. It doesn't cost you a penny. You work way up your way up to 578 hype points here. You wait for the NFT uh, release here of Astrid. You mint that NFT. Now you own that. Let's say you were fifth in line. And let's say, you know, I don't know how long they're doing this for, but let's say they do it for a month. And over the course of the month, there's 5,000 of these that are minted by players. You have number five. Your mint is worth, could it be, you know, I'm not gonna say like a lot of money, but it might be, who knows? You know, we don't know where this game's going. But just to kind of show you the concept of pay to play, I'm sorry, I keep saying pay to play, play to earn, play to earn games. Um, you can onboard and play this game for completely free and then turn around and sell your in-game assets for actual cash or crypto. So. It's a really cool concept that is changing the way this the world of gaming is played. The reason I wanted to show you this first 
is to kind of give you a, a concept of how the marketplace reacts to events like this. So now we're going to head over. We're going to go back to uh, this, back to the screen here. We'll turn on the music again because it feels weird just talking into the abyss. Now let's check out. So if you go to blankos.com, this is how you access the marketplace. So you click marketplace, and here we go. Here is the open marketplace. So this is uh, like going to the grocery store and trying to buy blankos and accessories. This is really what it is. So the marketplace, I am going to search by Astrid. And she should pop up. There we go. She, he, I don't know. So right now, like I said, this came out at noon today, so about an hour ago in my world here in Texas. And there's already been 404 people that have minted it. Now, let's scroll over here. So look at the person who minted number two is asking for $1,100. So conceptually, this person's played the game quite a bit and worked their way up to the 500 and whatever hype points to mint that. They got mint number two. Now they're asking for $1,100, which is a profit of, let me ask you at home, $1,100. All right. Now, that doesn't mean to say that that person will get $1,100 for it, but they're kind of floating it out there, right? So then person who is the third minted is like, you know what, I'm going to undercut you, right? So maybe person three played the game, didn't make it, you know, didn't pay any money, um, had that many high points and then a second after number two minted it that person minted it and they're like you know what a profit is almost seven hundred dollars wouldn't be too bad for you know my time spent playing the game and not putting a single penny into it so the mar and then this guy's just like screw it five grand i got number four let's you know come in so you can see the prices don't necessarily mean that they're in alphabetical i'm sorry um order so it's not like Mid number one. It's not like a draft pick in the NFL, right? Like the first player draft is gonna get this, and then it is, and so on and so forth. So just for the heck of it, let's look at all the ones that have been minted so far. The cheapest one is. So you can get number 389 for 40 bucks. You can get 267 for 43, 281 for 47. Um, so it's interesting. I always find it interesting to see these new blancos that are minted. Um, because they don't have a set price, they're free to mint. So it's interesting to see what the market dictates for these guys. Um, and you can see it's just this, there's kind of this spike of, you know, all over the place. And then what I like to see is down here, the latest transactions. So this is literally in real time, you seeing the market dictate the price of these. So like I said, this has been out for an hour. Someone bought number 368 for 40 bucks. So. Again, to go back to that concept, this person, uh, and this is the uh, log on the chain, the transaction. So to go back to that concept, this person played the game, minted this for free, and then turned around and sold it for 40 bucks. Not bad, this person as well. This person sold number 111 for 80 bucks. This person sold number 18 for 140 bucks. So you can start to understand the concept of play to earn game. It's really cool. It's a unique idea and everyone loves games. And they're only obviously getting more sophisticated and more mature as we go on here. But this is just a paradigm shift in the way of thought. You can play games and you can earn money while playing games. Come on, what a cool concept. And this game is really easy to access easy to play, easy to understand, conceptually it's not hard, and the sky's the limit with a game like this. So, I do these videos daily, I uh, selfishly like to share my progress in the game with you, um, but also want to be a central focal point for the community. You know, I like being an ambassador for this uh, game, and I love the idea of play to earn, and if you enjoy these videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel, there's going to be plenty more. Obviously, I'm trying to do these as, daily, as close to daily as possible. I did one for the airport the other day on my way to Arizona. Um, so this is, uh, yeah, just let me know if you have any questions. And I'm still learning this game, obviously, too. Uh, but let's learn together. Let's grow this community together. And let's, uh, let's make some money while we're at it. Huh? So thanks for watching again. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, share it with your friends. You know, if they have questions about NFTs, this is it. This is it. It's really easy. 
All right. Well, have a great day, everybody. Happy Wednesday. We'll see. Uh, we'll see you soon. We'll see you tomorrow. Turn on the screen.